is Lena Kubina, and the second day of the European Championship in Israel has already ended, which means that today we will discuss how the gymnasts settled down on the immediate day, who did not succeed, who went into the finals, and who was left behind, who won the finals of individual events and juniors. Let's talk a little about the artisticity and how shamans in gymnastics are. Well, in order to know about everything that happens in the world of gymnastics, be sure to subscribe to the channel. You will tell your friends interesting stories from the world of gymnastics. Well, YouTube in Russia is still not monetized, so if you have the opportunity to support me, then now it will be especially pleasant. Thank you very much in advance. On Thursday, June 16, senior gymnasts performed with the two apartes, hoop and ball, gaining points for the team tournament as well as qualifying for the finals of individual events. On Friday, the girls will perform with clubs and ribbons, and based on the results of the qualification, 24 best gymnasts will be selected to perform in the finals of individual all-around. So after the first day, Sofia Raffaele, a gymnast from Italy, is in the lead. It is probably worth noting right away that the gaps are very small. So after the second day, and even more so in the all-around final, everything can change as much as possible. It will probably make it more interesting to watch the tournament. So despite the fact that Sofia was the leader of the uh, routines, she did not do perfectly in the hoop. There was a dirty catch and I'm very worried about the ending. I can imagine that moment when the hoop flies away at the end and the whole room gasps, but I hope we won't see it. There was also an unpleasant moment with the ball. In order to save the parts, Sophia fell to her knees and in the end she was sure that there would be a technical deduction for this. Well, I think it's no longer worth for me reminding you that Sophia is gorgeous for my taste. The second is Brianna Klein. There was a funny moment after the performance when Brianna and Celiana sat in the kiss and cry and waited for their remarks. And both of them began to discuss it with the serious faces, but I think Brianna was clearly counting on a higher mark. Although she performed the hoop without visible errors, the score was smaller than in the bowl. Third place after the first day in the qualification is Stiliana Nikolova, also a Bulgarian gymnast. She was clearly on fire today. She smiled a lot and played with Luigi the talisman. According to her performances in the bowl, there was traveling after an element but otherwise it was quite confident and as clear as possible. There was also a hitch in the hoop. I really liked the moment when Stiliana finished the turn and looked in direction of the judges so much that I even got goosebumps through the screen. Such moments are really cool. One gets the feeling that the gymnast is really getting high from herself. The fourth place after the first day is occupied by Viktoriana Brienko, a gymnast of Ukraine. The gap from the first three is much larger here, but in any case, I think it will be made up in the all-around and on the second day. Fifth place is occupied by Yekaterina Vireneva, who did an excellent job with her programs on the first day. For sixth place, we have Margarita Kolosov, a German gymnast, then Zokra Kamirova, Daria Volforomeyev with a loss in eighth place. Daria Atamanov also made losses and with a run, so she's still in the top 10 for now. And Milena Voldasari closes the top 10. Rafaeli, Kalin, Nikolova, Anabrienko, Atamanov, Fidineva, Kolosov, and Postinaya will compete in the medals for the hoop final. And in the ball, we have Kalin, Rafaeli, Nikolova, Vidineva, Akamirova, Voldasari, Kolosov, and Varflamiv. An interesting point here is that initially Margarita Kolosov was not included in the list of the finalists but her mark was raised after filing one of a protest and in result she jumped into the final. At the moment the team of Bulgaria is leading in the team all around followed by the Italian team but since there is still groups ahead and two more events of the individual athletes, everything can change. The third place is currently occupied by the German team. The gaps here in principle are also relatively small from the team standings, so the fight will also turn out in full swing. There are lots of discussions about Israeli gymnasts and their scores. I think in general the altitude towards them has changed after the victory of Linoya Shram at the Olympics. If earlier they were some kind of participants and an altitude of attention was not 
led towards them. So now they're accounted as leaders and obviously de the demand in general is much higher. The same thing with the Russian team. Fans have higher expectations which means that we see more details and consider the rating in more detail. Perhaps artistity is the most incomprehensible moment. I will try to understand this in more detail. Explaining this point, I will hope I will shoot a separate video. So I think during the summer we will have a big picture formed and before the world championship and the new cups, we will already understand in more detail, at least I hope. Well, I had a brilliant idea in my opinion how to evaluate artistity. So I think making a list of questions and criteria for judges to answer if it actually happens or not. If it happened in the routine, then you can point a point. If not, then you don't point a point. Well, probably not a whole point, but some tenth. And the criteria should probably be more specific in order to remove the taste. Because the taste in judges makes this artistic score be very floating. Well, if you really want to express your opinion, then you can give one tenth if you really like the gymnast general impression. Write what you think about my fantasies. It seems to me that if you think this over well, then it would be a good system and it will probably turned out as less objective as possible. And the gymnast could see whether and why they got a good score. Let me know in the comments if you're looking forward to this new video that I'm going to make about artistity. For leotards, Fausta Sostakanitis Minimalist one with the stones is especially memorable. In general, I thought that this is not a very bad option and looks good when there are no big budgets for costumes, as for example in Russia. Well, I also noticed that now there are some kind of fashions for black and white leotards. Andrea Verdes, Sofia Rafael, Valley and some other gymnasts. Returning to Silver Saxion's injury, today she performed not obviously her best, but she performed and probably this is the most important thing now. So Silva got to dislocations during the podium training and the day before the start of the tournament for seniors. As a result, she performed with a moving cast. The first aid to the gymnast was provided by the doctors of many teams. I think it's very cool that everyone helps each other out and there is also care within each other. Well, another interesting point, in addition to the really good doctors, Venera Zarepova helps Silva to treat her leg. Venera is the first student of Verena Vin now she works as a coach, lives in Israel, and organizes online tournaments. Also, in addition to popularizing gymnastics, she is also very well known for her shamanic skills. I wouldn't just say that with her energy, she helps athletes heal their injuries. Probably not everyone believes in such help, but those who have come across her abilities say that the powerful energy comes from her and it really helps. Well, also on the second day of the tournament, the juniors competed for medals in the finals of separate events and here too quite unexpected results turned out. So medals were received by those who nobody expected it from. So the final with the hoop was won by the Bulgarian gymnast Elvira Krasnabaeva, probably the only gold that could be predicted. Elvira is a strong athlete and represents a strong school of rhythmic gymnastics. Silver in the hoop was won by the Polish gymnast Liliana Lewinsky and the bronze was won by Alena Tal Franco, the Israeli gymnast. Israeli gymnast Michel Munitz won the ball final. Probably in general, since Israeli gymnasts did not perform so often at international tournaments, the gymnasts that we see here and their names are very unfamiliar. But I must say the juniors are really pleased and pleasantly surprised me. Silver in the ball was taken by Elvira Krasnabaeva and bronze by the Romanian gymnast Cristina Dragan. For the first time in their country, the club's final was won by Romanian gymnast Amalia Licha. For her, this was clearly a very good end to the tournament. Eliana Levinsky won silver again. By the way, many people worried about her since she was never able to win gold. Also, she probably is one of the strongest gymnasts and the most famous among juniors. The Azerbaijani gymnast Kamila Gafarova won bronze. While the ribbon final was won by another Israeli gymnast and another from the Monique 
gymnast's family. So Daniela snatched victory from the rest of the gymnasts, overtaking Tara Dragas from Italy, who stopped in second place, and Lilana Levinsky, who won bronze. Well, this video has come to an end, and the European Championship continues. So we'll see you in the next video, and bye bye!